of decorating materials. So markers, stickers, glitter, um, scrap paper, anything like that. And of course, we're also going to need the thing that makes our things clack. We're also going to need some bottle tops, um, pop tops, anything like that, or buttons even work. Anything that will make a noise if you click on it. So let's get started. I have a couple different types of clackers. Um, so these are sort of like these big hand ones. So these would fit more of like your four fingers or your whole hand. And we also have these sort of finger ones. So these ones are a little bit more like one or two fingers. Um, and so I'll show you how to like what to do, but you can decorate them however you like. So with your piece of cardboard, um, I recommend making a small one first. So again, like I said, about one to two finger size, depending on how big your fingers are. And I like to make them about, uh, let's say, if I was going to put my finger on here, one to two. So it's usually about a one and a half to two inches. And it doesn't have to be exact, but if you want it to be, you can go ahead and take a ruler and measure that amount make some marks and then because we fold them in half this piece of cardboard um, it actually needs to be closer to about six to seven inches long so it would be about this long because we're gonna fold that piece in half so I'd say I have a little mark here and I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissors and cut this out. Now sometimes cutting things with cardboard can be a little tricky. So if you need to ask for assistance from an adult or an older sibling, go ahead and do that. And I like to take my time, cut nice and slow to make sure I'm getting a nice even line. And I just went ahead and cut on those marks. So I have my extra cardboard. I'm gonna actually set that aside. So I have about like this size shape and doesn't have to be perfect that's totally fine so what we want to make sure we do is we want to match up these two sides so they kind of go like this and these are going to be the end of our clackers and so see how our cardboard kind of did this funky thing so we want to make sure it goes flat so sometimes you need to squish it down really good and if you need to put it on the table press your hand on it to squish it down you can so this way when you open it up it makes that sort of shape so now we need to figure out how we want to decorate it. And the reason I say this now is because if you want to decorate the inside as well as the outside, it's easier to do that before you put your clackers or your bottle caps in there. So there's a couple different things you can do. You can cover it with paper, just one solid color and add some aspects like teeth um, or eyes, or you can just draw on your cardboard, a design or any sort of fun character, like this one I have kind of like a cat looking thing. So um, if you have white cardboard, you can go ahead and just draw or paint right on there. But if you have brown cardboard, I recommend covering it with white paper so that if you draw on it, it comes up a lot easier. And so that's actually pretty easy to do. I have a piece of white paper here. And all I'm gonna do is take my cardboard, take my glue stick, and I'm actually just going to glue the back side. I want to make sure my glue sticks up. Glue the back side of the top piece of my cardboard, one side. All right, like that. And I'm just going to line it up with the edge of the paper. Squish down so that my paper is right here on the corner. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. My glue stick here. My other side of my cardboard. And the glue stick will work just fine for this process. You don't need any um, Elmer's glue or hot glue. And I'm just going to bend it over and glue it right down. So this way we're saving extra paper. And I can just take my scissors and cut off the extra paper and I know it's the exact same size as my cardboard see just like that and you can still fold it over make sure it's down really good I'm gonna set my white paper aside so this way if I wanted to draw anything on it it would come up better with markers so that's like say a rainbow um, let's say you wanted to add some patterns or designs anything like that 
And if you wanted to do something like this and curve the edge, you could just go ahead and cut off and round those corners. So let's say I wanted to do that. And I can just cut those corners right off. See, so now it's rounded. So let's say I'm gonna take a couple colors. Let's say maybe I want to do sort of like a uh, sunset. I got some waves here. So I just started adding some blue waves. Let's see, I wanted to add the sun. And you can add anything that you want. I like to fill up the whole side because I think it looks a little bit more interesting but that's totally up to you and how you want to decorate it and you don't have to decorate it at all if you don't want but they do look pretty cool you could write your name on it you could um, make it into an animal if you wanted And I'm just sort of making a cool design. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute here. So this can be kind of fun to think about how you want to decorate it. Again, I put white paper down because I think the markers show up better, but you can also paint it if you have paint. Or if you have white cardboard, you could just go ahead and use that. Oh, lost my marker there for a second. And you could spend some time on this. I'm just filling this in kind of quickly so I can show you. So you could just fill that side in. And you could do the same thing on the back, or you could do something totally different. So let's say I wanted to do something different on the other side. Let's say I wanted to do like sort of like some rainbow hearts here. That's totally cool. Or you could do one side warm colors, one side cool colors. You could do that. There's endless possibilities here. You could also add stickers. Or if you have a drawing that you've already worked on, you could glue that drawing on here. So it doesn't have to be gluing on a white piece of paper. You could glue an already made drawing on there. That could be pretty cool too. So like I said, endless possibilities. All right, so I could do something like that. If I wanted to even add some stickers. I have these fun rainbow stickers on here. Totally however you wanna make it. So different ideas, different things going on. So once you have it how you like it, then we can add the clackers in. So I have a couple bottle tops and I have some of the kind of cool ones. Ask your parents or older siblings if they have some that you can use. And so they can be, again, um, pop cans, bottle tops. You can also use these plastic tops off water bottles. Those work great. Or buttons, anything that makes noise. So we need to glue them down. I'm going to use my hot glue gun because it dries instantly and for the sake of this video and time I'm going to do that. You can also use Elmer's glue or school glue to glue these down um, and that totally works just as good but it just needs a little bit longer time to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this and if you are going to use a hot glue gun um, make sure you ask for assistance from an adult and you can just glue it down there. Get all these hot glue gun strings out of the way. And I wanna glue it down at the very top corner. And so I have two different bottles that I'm gonna glue down. So you can either put the glue on here. All right. And so I'm gluing them at the, whoo, at the top edge. And so this way, and again, you can do this with Elmer's glue, but this way, 
when you close it, they close together, just like that. So you want to give it a second to dry before you touch it, but it dries pretty quickly. And then you have a finger size clacker. So I'm going to show you another way to do this so we can set that one aside because I think it's fun to have one in both hands so you can have cast the nets on both sides. So I'm going to show you another example of just covering it with paper and trying to make some eyes here. So I have this, another piece of cardboard already set out and it's a little bit bigger. Again, it's the same idea with four fingers or you so it fits your whole hand and I did the same thing um, as I did with the smaller one with the cardboard I just kind of measured it out doesn't have to be exact I cut it out of the cardboard and I folded the cardboard in half so now that we have this let's say I want to make something like an alligator so it has teeth I might take some green paper and do that same sort of process I want to cover the paper And I'm just taking my glue stick, covering one edge. Gluing that down. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Gluing the other side. And again, I'm just using my glue stick because that works just fine. And so I just glued it on the edge here so we can save a good amount of paper, just like that. I'm going to make sure it's down. And I'm going to cut along the edge here. And if you need help cutting anything or folding or working with the cardboard or gluing or anything like that, remember it's always okay to ask for help. So I have my scrap paper. I'm going to set this aside. And I have, might glue down this edge a little bit more. All right, but I have green covered. So let's say I wanted to make some eyes. So I might take my green paper. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold this in half. Okay. And I'm going to draw kind of like a mountain shape. So it's sort of, I'll do this in marker so you can see what I'm talking about. sort of like these hump shapes like this. All right, and I like to fold it in half and actually glue this paper together because it's a little bit sturdier when you're just using construction paper. So when we have the eyes sticking out, it actually stays more flat. So I have this paper, I fold it in half, I glued those two halves together so it's like two pieces of paper and I drew these sort of shapes and now I'm going to cut them out All right, so it kind of makes a shape like this. And the important step here is to make a small fold at the bottom, like this. And this is what we're actually going to glue on the top to make these eyes. So you can actually just go ahead and you can make them bigger, smaller, up to you. And I'm just gonna glue that small fold and place it on the top here. And that way, you can press down this fold and your eyes stand up. Kind of cool like that. So I have the scrap I'm going to throw away. And I'm going to take another piece of my white paper. And I'm going to fold this in half. And just cut out two smaller shapes. Hump shapes. And these will be the inside of my eyes, like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down. Like this. And you can draw these out first before you put them out. Totally up to you. So it kind of looks like that. And then the next step would be to draw in the middle part of the eye. So take your uh, black marker, pencil, anything like that to make sort of this eye shape. All 
And then I also add, so it sort of looks like that. I added these little eye shapes and I also added two little dots to make sort of like a nose. So it looks kind of cool when you fold it like that. So the other thing we need to do is add some teeth. Now this is the fun part. Again, I'm going to take some white paper and I kind of have like a strip like this, like this, and I'm going to fold it in half and then in half again. And you're going to see why in a second. So I'm going to draw a couple little triangle shapes on the top here for my teeth. And I like these triangle teeth, but you can make any sort of teeth that you want. So then when I cut these out, I'm actually going to have, it's like I'm going to be cutting out, instead of just four, I'm gonna be cutting out like 16 teeth. So I'm actually just saving myself some time. And I'm doing, this sort of looks like an alligator or a dragon to me, but you can make it any sort of animal that you want, a dog, a cat, um, a turtle, anything like that. So I have some triangles that I cut out. And these are good to be able to add on as our teeth, like this. So before we do that, I'm going to add my... Uh, clackers in there because my teeth kind of cover up that part so it's easier to glue so i'm going to do that and then we're going to attach the teeth so again you can use elmer's glue i'm going to use my hot glue gun because i have it right here um and you can use uh i'm going to show you what it looks and sounds like with the uh, plastic tops as well and so with the bigger ones i like to add uh i like to add like two or three depending on how long it is couple in here and you can even do one of each if you have uh bottle tops on the bottom and you have other like tops you could do that too you can mix it up you can use different colors anything that you have available to you is fine and i'm not sure if i said this before but make sure you put the um the right side up like the top side up so it go so it can make that noise so again, I'm just doing this kind of quickly, but like I said, if you are using hot glue or if you need assistance, feel free to ask someone in your house to help you out. And I'm using hot glue for the sake of this video because it's a little quicker, but Elmer's glue works just as well. All right. So we can add our teeth around this. So I have a couple little strips of paper, and I can just add up some of these using glue stick, Elmer's glue, whatever you have to you in your disposal. All right, and you can just add some of these teeth right on top. All right, and they can be as big or small as you want them to be. And I'm going to add a little bit on the bottom too. And you could have them go all the way around on the sides if you want, or just in front, whatever you like, whatever you think looks good. I think it also kind of helps because it covers up the bottle tops a little bit. So I'm just going to do a few teeth. But I think that looks pretty good. So now if you wanted to draw some designs on here, you could. Or you could just leave it plain like that. And again, you could make it something that has like eyes like an animal. You could draw your own designs on here. Anything that you want. And you can use these. Now that you have it, you can use these. And have your own band. And they're very fun to walk around play some music. You could put on your favorite song and follow along to the beat. Very cool. So before you get carried away with your new instrument, we got to make sure we clean up. So we want to put everything back the way it was. Make sure everything that you use that has a cap on it has caps on it, like your glue stick or markers. I have my little cup of supplies over here. And if you have any scraps that you don't need, you can go ahead and toss those. Any scrap paper that is still usable, you could go ahead and put them in a pile. 
for a later date because you know here at Cap at Home we always like to reuse supplies. And if you used a hot glue gun, make sure you unplug that. All right, and so when your space looks just how it did before, then you are ready to go ahead and make instruments, make music with your new instruments, your cardboard castanets. Go around, make some music, make a dance. So again, that's cardboard castanets. I'm Miss Allie, and thank you for watching this Cap at Home video. And stay tuned at 1 and 2 p.m. for more videos, and make sure to check us um, check our video library out on uh, our other Facebook as well as Instagram and YouTube. Thanks for watching.